Growing on Twitter is actually pretty easy. I know it might be a shock to hear that as you might have tried growing on Twitter already and seen no success, or you just currently have absolutely no idea how to grow an audience and get followers fast and effectively. But when you follow this step-by-step -step process that I'm about to reveal to you, you'll realize how straightforward growing on Twitter actually is. This process is so simple, you could achieve zero to 10,000 followers if you follow it correctly. So whether you're selling a product offering a service or just starting out this guide is perfect for you stage one is zero to a thousand followers and that means you need to focus on the foundations of building a good profile the factors that affect your conversion rate are the following your profile picture your profile picture is the first thing people see when they visit your profile so make sure it represents you in the best possible way a clear and friendly picture can attract people to follow you and even better if it's a clean and colorful background so that you stand out on the timeline. Another great idea is to get this professionally done and invest some time and some money into getting a professional photographer to do it for you. When followers see your face, it creates a personal connection and they are more likely to engage with your content and eventually buy from you in the future. Next up is a compelling bio. Your bio should clearly scream and communicate the value that you offer to your followers. A well-crafted bio tells people who you are, what you do, and why they should follow you. Make it concise yet very impactful. As well as your profile picture and your bio, you're gonna wanna get a clear banner which showcases who you are and matches up with the profile. Next up, consistent tweeting. Consistently tweeting daily is a non-negotiable if you want to grow on Twitter. Your audience needs to get to know you and they can't do that if you go missing for a couple of days. So make sure that you're doing between two and five tweets every single day. When you're first starting out, you want to stay focused to grow fast. If you're defining your niche, you wanna be clear about what it is you tweet about so you attract like minded followers who want to go on the journey with you. Now here are some tweet rules that you should follow when you're first starting out. Clear and concise use of language is the name of the game here and you want to use simple words on the timeline. Just remember that writing is design so if a tweet looks aesthetically pleasing it will get more engagement and if it's grammatically correct and reads well you'll likely get it retweeted and liked. But to write good tweets you don't need to make it harder than it needs to be. Pick say five people and look at exactly how they tweet, when they tweet and the type of structure and content. Next up, which is super important when you've got a low amount of followers, is comments and replies. You're gonna to wanna to respond to every single DM and comment. Show your followers that you value their interaction by responding to all DMs and comments, engage with your audience, create a sense of community, and encourage them to keep interacting with you. You wanna make your comments meaningful and insightful, and also make sure that they're engaging and authentic. So now you know the fundamentals, you're gonna be wanna writing two to five tweets a day and comment at about 20 to 30 comments on other people's tweets. Do this consistently for a couple of weeks or months and you'll gain 1,000 followers in no time. So we've got to 1,000 followers. The next step is 1,000 to 5,000 followers. And this is where we're going to introduce the concept of writing good threads. A thread is just a series of tweets and Twitter recently introduced more long form content and they're basically the same thing. All longer form content allows you to do is to just go into more depth on a specific problem Problem so that you can solve it for the people who are following you. Here you're gonna to wanna to do between one and two threads per week. So just like a creator's mini blog, you want to have a fantastic hook to set the tone and engage the reader to read the rest of the tweets. Everyone after that needs to be an actionable step or some tips. And then finally, a call to action to tell people what to do next. Next up is to make sure you create unique content. Differentiate yourself by sharing original content drawn from your own experiences. People value all authenticity and really love hearing a story. So share your own experiences and put yourself apart from other people. A great tip next is to keep a swipe file of any of the good tweets you see on the timeline. A simple way of doing this is to just get some bookmarks and refer to them when you're writing your own stuff. At this stage as well, you wanna prioritize quality over quantity. So as your following grows, focus on maintaining quality actionable advice so that your content retains loyal followers. At this stage, you're also going to have had a couple of highly engaging tweets. So double down and analyze what it was that made that tweet work. Maybe you can give your audience some of the same, or maybe you can ask a question and take a different spin on that tweet. Now, congratulations, you've got yourself to 5,000 and the next step is 5,000 to 10,000 followers. Now we're not changing up things too much at this stage, we're keeping consistent we're doing the things that we've done and we're maybe up in the ante between one and two threads per week to really establish growth. You can double down on threads or increase your engagement 
Richmond, whatever you can do, you'll definitely have some momentum once you've got to 5,000 followers. You'll know what a good tweet looks like and you'll have built up some writing skills. But there are some tweaks that you can do to make sure that you maximize your followers. One of these is to actually limit the amount of retweets that you do. You wanna keep your profile nice and clean with your own original content. If somebody goes to your profile and just sees a host of other people's work, then they're not gonna think that you're a creator worth following. Twitter spaces are another underutilized hack to get followers fast at this stage. All they are is a hosted voice conversation in real time with your audience, which can create a unique and immersive experience for your followers. Line up some guests and have some fun with it, or join another space and just jump on and have a conversation. At this stage, we wanna also start repurposing the tweets that we've already done maybe four or five months ago. Remember, a really low percentage of your tweets are actually seen by your audience. And recycling successful content can help you reach new followers that may have missed that content the first time around. And finally, don't stop what's working already. Many people drop their consistency, they stop doing threads, they stop doing comments, and they stop doing what got them there in the first place. If it's working, keep on doing it. And there you have it, a foolproof plan to get to your first 10,000 followers. And if you want to know further how to schedule tweets and threads, get yourself over to this video and I'll show you exactly what you need to know.